All right, how's it going everybody? Welcome to today's training. The title of today's training is how we've helped coaches, consultants, experts, and agency owners scale to seven figures while working less with predictability and certainty along the way. And note, this is actually without unethical marketing practices such as flashing Lamborghinis, massive ad spin, like $100,000, $200,000 a month, or fancy, shiny marketing funnels. And I'll actually note, I didn't write this in the presentation, but it's actually while making your clients happy they invested with you, which is another biggie that some people seem to kind of forget is important when, when running a business, okay? So we're gonna get straight into it here. My goal for this training is to set you up with the right knowledge and action steps so that the only thing stopping you from succeeding is just taking action and putting in the work. I wanna give you immense clarity and conviction regarding the next steps for your business or your business to be. And I know you're jaded, you're used to seeing these trainings, so I wanna make this training completely worth your time and cut straight to the meat of our training. I know there's a lot of these out there, so I'm just gonna get straight to it. I'm not gonna waste your time. I'm gonna do a little bit of intro work, just make sure that you know you know who you're listening to and you, you know that we have the authority to be teaching on these things, and then we're gonna get straight into the meat, okay? So you're probably asking, who is this guy, and should I just leave and go back to work or keep watching, and is this even worth my time? Well, I wanna introduce myself. My name is Trey Cockrum. I like business making fat stacks, helping other people succeed, making other people fat stacks, working out, going for runs, reading books, watches, cars, cigars, scotch, other manly things like that, music, guitar, occasional video games, and Star Wars, and in general, becoming my best self. And I'm on a mission to help empower entrepreneurs with the strategies that changed my life and my business. And I want to tell you my story as well as the stories of our clients. And I do this alongside my team of coaches, leaders, and our community that I love leading. I believe an entrepreneur that has clarity is a dangerous weapon that our culture, our families, and circles are desperate for. So I'm 21 years old, and by the age of 21, I've had my first $100,000 profit single month in my consulting business, as well as having helped over 500 plus other coaches, consultants, or agency owners, business owners, scale their businesses too, and more on them in a moment. And no, I didn't get my start off as a coach. That's the reality of this industry. Most people are going to see those numbers and be like, God, okay, Trey, that's great. You sold a lot of money in a month. whoop de doo What actually gives you the authority, though, for me to be listening to you? Well, I didn't start off as a photographer or, or a coach. Sorry, I started off as a photographer, helped other wedding photographers as an agency, moved into helping e-commerce businesses, online coaches, stuff like that, building webinars. Uh, and then I was a consultant, and then I'm a coach. So I've actually had a lot of weird, whacked out, left and right, gone everywhere as an entrepreneur sort of experiences. And, uh, you know, I didn't get my start off as a coach. Uh, this is just a huge deal in the industry. I think, you know, if you start off as a coach, it doesn't really feel that legit, right? So this is actually me with 40 bucks in the bank at 17. I really did start completely from scratch out of my parents' basement because my family was going through some tough times and I just wanted to chip in and I was able to figure business out. And if I can, I genuinely believe that anyone can. Here's our actual calendar. I've built a marketing system that fills my and my sales reps calendar with tons of calls with prospects that are ready to buy. So this is actually you know, me and my sales reps calendar mixed uh, for the month of January, which is our first $100,000 month profit. Uh, month. We use a mix of organic and paid strategies to do so, which will help our clients select the ones you're about to see implement. And also, I'm going to show you what these strategies are, walk you through them. You're welcome to just skip the video if you want to. But to be honest with you, if you really want the best experience, if you really want to implement these things, watch it in full. Don't skip around. I gave you the option to, but it, you, you get the point. I want to begin by showing clients we've helped scale thanks to our program, my coaching team, and our amazing community. And I believe results speak for themselves at the end of the day. So here's some results that we've achieved with real people and real businesses and a bunch of different niches just so you understand, you know, we don't just help one type of coach, one type of consultant or one type of agency owner. It's like we have ideas and principles that work industry wide and even with different offers. So let's let's get into this. So Zach grew from zero to $50,000 a month. He worked with me individually back when I was still doing one on one coaching. His niche is helping fitness coaches move online and he followed my key principles all the way through to make it work. The next is Kyle Dindy. He went from 20000 a month to 120000 a month. His niche is he helps speakers grow their career and get PR to land larger gigs. His, uh, he really made it work by optimizing his advertising campaigns and using our sales strategies and, frankly, offer our, also our offer building strategies, which we'll get into. Anton grew from 10000 a month to 80000 a month, and his niche is helping agency owners get more clients. He had an agency himself. Then he actually went on to help other people start theirs, and I believe their biggest month was about 80000 uh, and what made it work was applying our organic marketing strategies and offer creation strategies. Bastion Slot 
Uh, his gross was 2000 a month to about 20, 200000 a month. And he actually started off as a salesperson for a info product company. Uh, and he helps online business owners grow using organic marketing. And what made it work was his mindset, staying a student and constantly pushing his boundaries. So if these people, you know, these people, they understand that if they can just invest in the right help, they're saving years of their lives and having to figure out the process themselves. And I believe I say this at some point in this presentation, but I'm one of the only coaches that will openly admit that they got all of their information from other coaches. I've spent over $100,000 on my own education, and you actually have a video on YouTube where I break down you know, what that's done for me, but I digress. I don't want to go off on too many tangents. I want to keep this very straight line. A few more results just to drill it in. Tyler Mowry, 2,000 to 40,000. You can pause the screen and see you know, the more details. Johnny Vo, 0 to 80,000. Aaron Spikes, 2 to 40,000. And tons more like these on the far left, $12,000 day in the middle, $8,000 a month client, middle bottom, $10,000 day from a client that joined us like two weeks in, $10,000 day from another client, pretty awesome. 30 plus YouTube interviews, interviews with successful clients, again, just really wanting to drill it in that we are not just another you know small company off the block, I'm not just another kid off the block, real results, real proven industry uh, you know, reputation. And uh, that's what I love to get to say about what we do. So I'm the only online business coach I know that will openly show that many of his clients have actually gone on to do better than him in his own game. And this is a rarity in the industry. And I'm here to make a massive change to the who's daddy nature of the online coaching industry. I'm sure you've seen it. It's like, well, you know, maybe you're a coach yourself and, and you're like, oh, you've got an incredible offer. But you see people are like, oh, why should I go with yours? If this guy over here is at $8 million a year, you're only at two. It's like... It doesn't really actually work like that. He might be doing eight million, but burning all of his clients along the way. So it's like, uh, you know, there's 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 a lot more to it, right? And so I want to make sure that I I operate with total integrity throughout this uh, presentation here. So who this training is for? Experts in their industry trying to monetize their knowledge, sell more of their service or program or product, and agency owners ready to adopt a better model for scaling. People with a service, coaching offer, program or mastermind that they're ready to scale. Companies that are trying to scale their consulting offer or offers, or beginners with experience or experienced entrepreneurs looking for a clear pathway to scale to seven figures a year, or even just get their first clients. And I'll actually add one more thing to this list. Maybe you have an audience online, or you've got a following, or you can quickly build a following, or you even know people who have a following that you can partner with that you know you can launch an offer to. This is also going to be for you. This is a pretty solid training for that as well. So here's who this training is not for. Individuals looking for a quick or gimmicky way to make money. Not for you, dude. We're not here to make quick cash so that you can go spend it at the club or something. It's not really what we're here to do. I'm here to actually help you build a real business. Look at that. What a surprise. People who have absolutely no business experience whatsoever, this might not be for you. People with a total lack of proof of concept on their offer for their niche. No history at all. This might not be for you. You could probably get some value out of this, but more than likely it's not for you. And then lastly, people who are just here to funnel hack me. And I know that that's a lot of you. So I see you right now. I'm proud of you. Keep learning. But this is probably not for you. I'm actually looking for clients here, okay? So if I could guarantee that if you implemented our strategies all the way through and put in the work that you'd see the same results, would that make you stay? And I can't actually say this. I can't. If you put in the work, if you do things the way we tell you to do them, if you follow in the footsteps of our successful clients and learn from them, we've actually got the ability to have our successful clients come back and help you, would you stay would you stick around for this training if i can guarantee that you're going to get results would that make you stay it's a weird claim it's a bit out of left field and you know the guarantee comes with the clause and that's that you're actually willing to put in the work and to be frank i've already if i've already sold you on working with us i still want you to watch this full training so that you know whether we're a good fit for you or not reality is most don't put in the work not even that most don't even take the time to watch a solid training this more than likely is the main reason you're stuck you can't focus and here's proof. You can see this is the stats of this Wistia video that you're watching right now, at least the earlier version of it. Most people don't actually watch the whole thing. This is a laggy video, but you can see some people watch 100%. Most watch like 20, maybe 15%, even 4% right there. Most people don't watch the whole thing. So today, I want to give you everything you need to get the sorts of results we print for our clients free of charge. All I ask is for your undivided attention and open mind and to let me guide you through the process with your total trust and buy-in. Whether you're just getting started online or you're an already established even seven-figure entrepreneur, if I can't convince you that our methods work and that we're worth investing and getting help from, I'll be hurting the potential growth of your business forever and that's how much I believe in what we do. 
So here's some house rules or guidelines for today. There's a couple questions you have to ask yourself before we decide if this training is worth your time. Just a few quick things. Is this training for you? First of all, do you have expertise, a service, or a package that you sell that you're trying to sell more of? Next, do you know you're not at your full potential as an entrepreneur and business owner? Next, do you feel like you've already tapped your industry and are hungry to grow? Next, are you in a position to scale and are you ready for more business? Next, are you willing to put in the work and follow the people that have gone before you in order to see success? This is a biggie. Next, are you in a position to go all in? And I'm not just talking financially, I'm not just saying, yeah, you got to invest, you got to pay us tons of money for us to, I'm, I'm even talking emotionally. I'm talking spiritually. I'm talking time. I'm talking, you know, there's, there's a lot more on the line as an entrepreneur than just getting the right coach, getting the right help. Uh, really, are you in a position to go all in? And I mean this, you know, I have it written on my whiteboard behind me. I'm even challenging myself recently as an entrepreneur, even at this seven figure level. Am I ready to go all in? Am I ready to go to 10, 20 million a year? Am I ready to really just sacrifice everything for this? And that's what we're asking you to do. It's a hard ask, but it's the real truth. So if you answered yes to any of these things, any one of them, I want you to give me some of your time today. This presentation and the ideas we've helped implement into our clients' businesses could easily change your business and your life forever. You're about to learn the exact creation offer creation method that will help you build an offer that sells itself, brings in consistent profits and revenue, and aligns with your areas of expertise. You're also about to discover the sales method that will take you from a 5-10% to 10 closer to a well over 40% closer without sacrificing client experience along the way. You're also about to discover the marketing strategies that have grown our company to seven figures and helped tons of our clients do the same. Imagine, what could your business do for you in your life, your family, your finances, your future, and freedom if you truly tapped its potential out? You can see here again, proof of our company. These are real screenshots, okay? This is legitimate, real revenue. If you could predictably attract, sell, and get results with your offer for your clients. If you had total control over your business and its size, some people don't want a big business. Some people don't want to be doing seven figures. And I understand that. You could probably just be wanting to do five, six, seven, eight thousand dollars a month. You're a total beginner. And I want to honor that and help you make that happen. Just imagine what it would look like. You know, let's say you're already doing a million a year. You want to get to four or five. You want to be able to hire the right people, have the right team. I've got five incredible team members that I'm just totally blessed by. And if I didn't have them on the team, we wouldn't be where we're at. Maybe that's the gap free. Maybe you just want more free time. Really understand that you are just one control dial away or one tweak away, more than likely. Most of our clients are one tweak away from having that state. And I want to give you that tweak in this training. I want to help guide you and help you ask the right questions so you can maybe self-discover that tweak. Okay? So no more fancy presentation jargon. It's time to get right into the meat of our training today. It's beating a dead horse. I'm not going to beat a dead horse. You got to do it, right? It's the marketing industry. People use fancy marketing jargon all the time, but uh, really, I just want to—I just want to help you. I just kind of had to start the first 10, 15 minutes here with you know all the marketing jargon stuff to really get you bought in. Because if you're not excited about this training, and I genuinely believe this, if I can't convince the viewer on the other end of this video right now that we have some real meat on the bones of what we do as a company, then I'm doing you a disservice because we've really figured it out for our clients. Okay, so. Moving forward here, I don't know what that is. Moving forward, after helping 500 business owners, 500 plus, I've realized that there's truly only three things you need in order to scale your coaching, consulting agency, or expert training business. And here's the hard truth. You'll find many people, and this is actually a majority of the industry, that will overcomplicate what it takes to run a business in order to create the perception of complexity so that they can continue to sell you on solutions to that complexity. And this is a big idea. I'm sure you've seen it. Like, you know, you've got people out there, they have like a $500 product and then a $5,000 and then a $15,000 and then a $50,000 like mastermind, you know, weekend getaway with all the cool people, all the personal brands that are just like, that think they're like Jesus incarnate. And the reality is you're not going to learn anything new at that weekend than you would in their $500 like beginner tier product. And it's just because, you know, this is how the industry, like it's, there's some real shady stuff going on and and this is just the hard truth is that people will almost like like they'll keep things so that you'll continue to to buy and you know I'm a capitalist I'm a free market thinker I think you monetize it make as much money as you possibly can but I'm in it for the long game I don't know about you but I'm in it for the long game and and I'm really trying to make sure that my reputation comes before our cash reserves and and I believe that that's true for all entrepreneurs and this is just the hard truth of the industry people create complexity they'll say you need to 
use Facebook ads and this funnel and this, but in order to get this funnel, you need to pay us another five grand. <laughs> like, like, gosh, dude, just like, there's got to be a simple way to do this. And, and that's what I believe we've discovered. So truly, these are the only three things you need. And when I show you these three things, you're first going to question them. But give me the chance to prove that I'm right, not just because I want to be right, but because I want you to implement these things and see change in your business. I'm going to show you results we've gotten as we implemented, implemented these three things into our clients' businesses and our own business. So here's the three things. Offer. A scalable offer that solves a core market problem. And when I say this, I don't say it lightly. Most people think their offer as it is already solves a core market problem, but in reality, it's a few steps away from actually solving it. Okay, and we're going to get into that. Next is predictable marketing and sales. And what I mean by this I consider marketing, the way I define marketing in my company, is building trust at scale. Building trust and maybe authority. And then sales, you know, taking sales calls. Next is your mindset slash your self-image. And this is a biggie. If I do nothing else for you in this training, if we do nothing else for our clients, but fix their core sort of thermometer, or not thermometer, but um, thermostat, you know, you can almost set your core standards in life to 72 degrees, right? And then you're going to raise the temperature of the room to 72. You're not making enough money, you'll raise it up. If you're getting too hot, you'll cool it back down. If we can raise that temperature, that core internal standard, what you believe you're capable of to a level that forces you, corners you emotionally to take the actions that are needed in order to grow your company to the level that you want to grow it to, and that sort of challenge the perceptions you have of yourself. That's when we really help people. And, and I, I don't want to get too in-depth on that because a lot of people will think, oh, I just want the strategies. I just want to know how to I really just want to know how to sell more stuff, Trey. I really just want to know how to build an offer. We're going to get into that. But you'll, you'll find that that is all just smoke and mirrors. We're going to give you the templates that are plenty good enough to get you to seven figures. The final pillar is mindset environment. Okay, and we're going to get into mindset slash environment today. So we're going to cover these things in detail in this training. And if you feel like I'm not full of air, you should book a call with my team to see if we can help you dial these three areas in and scale. Most coaches consultants, agency owners, experts are stalled because they're trying everything and getting nothing. And before I move on, I want to hit on this call to action just a little bit here. Most people wait till the end of the presentation. They're like, oh, you know, I got to warm them up. I got to. But the reality is we're really good at what we do. And, you know, our cause, we're really looking for win-win situations. We don't sell anybody that we don't think we can help. And, uh, you know, only book a call if you believe that we are able to help you move forward. And we'll get more into who the call is for. You're welcome to actually just Take that play bar, skip it to the end to learn more about who these calls are and aren't for before you book, okay? So moving forward, most coaches, consultants, agency owners, or experts, I've already said this, but they're trying everything and getting nothing. And it reminds me of this. If you chase two rabbits, you catch none. And this is extremely true. I'm sure you've experienced this. You've got two niches or like two offers or two marketing processes or you've got a bunch of different things going on. And it seems like nothing seems to like synergize or create that sort of harmony in your business where things just flow, right? Having gone from zero to a $100,000 profit month myself, I can truthfully say I had to weave my way through the noise of the industry to get to what actually works. And what actually works is surprisingly simple. So with that said, let's start from the top with your offer by breaking down everything your offer needs in order to scale, okay? And uh, you know, if you're a beginner or you already have an offer, whatever it might be, I'd, I'd recommend watching this because this is what we help our clients with. So building a winning offer. Note, if you've already got an offer, you can skip this. And I know I just said if you already have an offer, you can watch this. But to be honest with you, the rules are a little blurred here. At the end of the day, we've got a lot of value, okay? You can build a three to $10,000 offer in less than two weeks. Seriously. And here's an example. Here's our client, Lucas, who went from charging $700 a month for his clients to within a week of joining us, selling a $10,000 upfront consulting package three times. So $30,000 collected. And I know that sounds kind of insane, but that's just the truth of dialing in your offer and getting very clear on who you help, how you help them, and how you're going to sell them that package. So the secret, less is more. And you're going to see me using this all the time in my business and in my marketing. So most people when designing their offers this is what it looks like. The more deliverables, the more I can charge, right? It's almost like a grocery bag. The more things in the grocery bag, the more you can charge. You know, the more the more things that they're paying for, the more they're going to pay you, right? Well, this is actually completely incorrect. This is just the wrong way of viewing it. What this does is it leads to what I call the consulting death spiral. And I'm sure you've been there, doing everything for everyone, trying to keep up with new client demands, saying yes to everything and every client because you just need the money. 
And I want to permanently free you from that death spiral. I want to get you out of it forever and actually make you more money and give you more free time and more fulfillment in your business. Here's three questions that if you ask yourself, you'll arrive at the perfect offer. First question, question one, and I want you to pause the training and actually ask these questions and write out the answers, okay? Where do my clients dream of being in their life or their business? What would be the highest level at which they could be served? And I would add at which they could be served in order to arrive at this dream state. So ask this question to yourself, answer it to yourself. How do I actually get them there? Question two, if I could solve only three main key problems or solve or move them through only three main key gaps in their thinking or their actions or whatever it may be for my clientele to help them arrive at that place, what would they be? So that's the next question. Question three, and this is a biggie. If I could only have one to three deliverables for each of these problems, what would they be? You see, most consultants, they have a list of deliverables that's, you know, longer than the book of Genesis, right? It's just like over the top, tons of stuff, and they've got like charge rates for every single one of these. Wrong way to go about it. You want to simplify this thing, and I'll explain why here in a sec. Asking this simple question, or these simple questions more like, allowed our client Aaron the ability to go from selling a $1.5,000 a month offer to selling a $9,000 upfront consulting offer in less than three months. And in his own words, it was easier to deliver, took less time, and was more fun and fulfilling. And keep in mind, this is the guy that went from $2,000 to $40,000 a month. And by the way, he did all organically. So we'll get into that soon, but no paid ads in order to do that. Just all organic, okay? So the sale came easier and more naturally as a side effect. So that's one of the things he gets to say. And actually, Aaron's a great guy. Aaron, if you're watching this, what's up, dude? So for the style of your offer, meaning is it a service, a course, a coaching slash done with you offer? Well, ask, which one will scale best? help the most people, excites me, and honors the client experience. So here's our offer structure spectrum. You can kind of hang out wherever you want to on this spectrum and sort of pick where you want to be, but I'll make some suggestions depending on your niche and your industry here in a sec. You got online course on the far left. I'll reference uh, some of our clients, or one of our clients that just recently joined us, Doug and his wife. They've got an online program. They're charging $1,000 for it. We helped them charge $6,000 for it, and they sold about $30,000 in copies in the first week. They've done extremely well with the online course model, okay? It's very scalable, very easy, but you have to make sure that your problem can genuinely be solved in a course format, which most can be, but there's some exceptions. Next, and this is my favorite, is a group coaching slash a hybrid coaching and service offer. This is sort of in the middle of our spectrum, as you can see, done with you. And on the far right, you've got a pure service-based agency model done for you. This is where you come in, you onboard the client, maybe you're running ads for them, you are building a website for them, you are... Who knows what it is that you're doing, okay? Um, but you're actually doing the work for them. Maybe you're training their sales team. Maybe you are helping them pick the right real estate investments. Whatever it is, it's done for you, okay? My favorite is done with you, and I'll explain why here in a sec. But you can see these arrows, they point to solution because all of these, at the end of the day, you're providing a solution and you're actually just creating results or an outcome. A lot of people have this romanticism towards just a course or maybe just done for you or maybe just a group coaching. But reality is, every single one of those is sold in a different way. Uh, and really, you're just selling the outcomes. You're selling where a client wants to arrive. You don't sell what you do. Your clients don't pay you for your time or your services or your expertise. They pay you, and this is something to keep in mind, as you're marketing, as you're selling, as you're you know growing your business in general. They pay you because they want to arrive at a state. They want to be somewhere. And so either you can represent that outcome in your personal brand or in your marketing, or you can represent it in your clients and you know what they've been able to do. Whatever it is, you have to help them see that you represent the gap between where they are and where they want to get. It doesn't matter if it's a course, done with you, done for you. You know, yourself, you might be watching this and be thinking, wow, this is this is awesome. I'm learning a lot from Trey. I can see that he does great work. His team does great work. And you're starting to understand, you know, the psychology of we sell outcomes. My company, we sell outcomes. We don't sell the model. We just we help you get to where you want to get, okay? And uh, you, you can sort of see me doing this even right now in this training. It's just very simple, very straightforward. Here's clients we've been able to help. Here's my business. Just straight to it, right? The outcomes that you're really driving. So most of our clients that move back to a purely consulting model versus an agency slash service one, scale faster and maintain client experience more than you'd imagine. Okay, this is a biggie. So on to pricing. And again, you know, hopefully this has been valuable for you. If you just take away one tiny thing from this training and implement it all the way through in your business, it's going to make you a lot of money, give you a lot more freedom, and give you a lot more control over the growth of your business. Okay, so right back into the training here to keep moving forward. Remember, 
Charging $1,000 and charging $10,000 simply comes down to your mentality regarding your offer. And I've personally experienced it. If you actually go back on my public, my free, totally free YouTube channel, uh, you can scroll way down. I've got this video. It's like my first $1,200 check as a coach. And it was like blew my mind. <laughs> and literally only eight months later, I was charging $15,000 for pretty much the exact same offer. And it was because I was a attracting a higher tier sort of a client because I got my messaging in place. And it was because I was, um, you know, selling with more conviction towards what I do. And I started realizing that I'm not selling like an eight-week coaching program. I'm selling helping somebody do this, solve this problem, which is a big problem to solve. And it's obviously worth at least $15,000. So remember, clients aren't paying you. They're paying to arrive at the place they desire in their life for their business, okay? When you operate from this frame of mind, you realize that for most services, programs, mentorships, etc., charging anything less than a couple grand at least is actually hurting your customer experience. And this is a big thing to internalize. Remember Kyle from the beginning? You know, this is a guy that went from 20000 to 120000 um, a month in his business. He came to me thinking he had a Facebook ads problem. He's like, hey, Trey, I need help with my ads so I can scale further. When in reality, he couldn't scale, not because his ads were broken. He's actually pretty good with ads. It was because he didn't have a solid high-ticket offer like what will help our clients build. So I didn't help with ads. I helped them build a better offer. And building this is one of the main keys in helping them rocket past that $100,000 a month mark. So that covers our first key, offer. We're going to move on to the next key here in a second. Before we do that, I want to state, you know, our competition accuses our methods of being too simple, but in reality, simplicity scales. You know, again, the industry works like this. They're going to make you think it's complex, but it's just not complex. And, and if I can strip away the unnecessary complexity and just get to, you know, what really works and what actually moves the needle in your business, I'm doing you a big favor. I'm saving you a lot of time and a lot of years. And this is what our clients understood. They understood, you know, if I could just get the right help and get straight to the meat, I'm going to save tons of time. and That's what I'm here to do for you at the end of the day. Whether you do or don't work with us, I just want to save you bunches of time and make you a lot of money, okay? So let me ask you, has this training been valuable so far? Have you gotten something good from your time with me today? If all you do is go home and adjust your offer, you're going to make a lot of money even just from the short time you've spent with me today, okay? And whether you decide to work with us or not, I truthfully just want to empower you to succeed in your business and in your life. I've seen massive transformation in my personal life. You know, I was a broke typical 17, 18 year old kid living in his parents' basement. Uh, you know, I was dating a girl at the time who totally doubted like the whole entrepreneurship thing. And I had to break up with her and I lost a bunch of friends and it's all this trauma. And it's just like very, very typical, you know, like startup entrepreneur drama. And it was hard and I was very isolated. It's like a whole year and a half, two years of just not hanging out with anybody, just focusing on this stuff, figuring it out. And it was hard. And I just want to help people get to the meat faster than I did. It took me way too long, way too long, okay? So moving forward on to the next key, marketing slash sales. This is where the real control levers happen. And if you can get consistent calls booked, then you're guaranteed to grow your business even if your sales skills are negligible. So here's the KPIs for $100,000 a month business. A $5,000 product, at least, or maybe $5,000 lifetime value, three to five sales calls a day, a 20 to 30% close rate week to week, and that's literally it. <laughs> There's nothing more to it. If you have those KPIs, you're going to reach $100,000 a month, and that's genuinely as simple as it is. A lot of people see that $5,000 offer, and it intimidates them. But again, remember, you just have to solve a $5,000 problem in your market. Ask your market these questions. Ask the questions I've just given you today, and more than likely, you're going to arrive at that $5,000 problem. Okay. So moving forward, the reality of the online business market, and I'd say more like the reality of marketing today, and here's some hard things to hear. Paid advertising costs are up, okay? So paid advertising is not as consistent as it once was. Sticking purely to one channel isn't working anymore. You can't just have one stream. You need to make sure that your clients have different places where they can get to know you a little bit and warm up. We have clients that know us for about eight months before booking a call and investing, you know, $15,000 with us. I mean, it's just, this is just the reality of how the industry works. You have to stand out as an expert, otherwise you'll be ignored. You can't just be, you know, the LinkedIn guy or the Facebook. You have to be the outcomes guy. You have to understand that people buy outcomes, not just your skill. Making noise just doesn't cut it. You'll be seen as a talker with no substance. The market is smarter now than ever. They're tracking what you're doing. They're going back to your old content. They're looking at your client interviews. They're Googling you. They're finding, finding the negative things people are saying about you. And, you know, people say negative things about us. Every business is this way. You'll find them. But the reality is the market is smart. They're going to figure out the truth, whether people are saying negative things or truthful things. They're going to figure out for themselves if they think you are worth your weight or not. 
okay and shooting blind just doesn't cut it you have to know your numbers to a point you can't just put out content you can't do the whole Gary V content cycle anymore you have to know your numbers what does it cost to acquire a client and there's new methods daily and they all work you just have to work on them I love this quote the grass is greener where you water it it's not about having a ton of methods it's about having maybe one or two that you mix and you know the numbers of that's how we've personally scaled our business so the answer you have to build genuine loyalty and trust with your audience and know your numbers through and through by tracking everything first is trust and trust is built with consistency over time this is just a human nature principle trust is consistency over time the reality is fewer and fewer people are willing to just watch a training and then pull the trigger and i'm aware of that more than likely this funnel that you're watching right now is just a break-even funnel we're just trying to get more people we're probably spending a thousand dollars a day maybe two thousand dollars a day just getting more people to understand who we are what we do and maybe you will book a call maybe you won't but the reality is we really just want to expand our awareness at this point we're not even looking for top of funnel profits we're just trying to grow our awareness and I could be wrong maybe this becomes a profitable funnel but as I'm planning it at this planning stage in my business I'm not really praying for it okay so how we solve this in our marketing well, we blend organic marketing and paid marketing together so that we're consistently filling our audience with new leads that profitably turn into buyers while supplementing our paid strategies with high value organic content to build real rapport. So you can see this really cheesy pie chart. It's the most simple pie chart I've ever made. Paid marketing and organic marketing. It's half and half, right? So you don't just do one. Uh, a lot of people just do one or the other, and that works really well for them. And frankly, I'm even about to show you a client that literally scaled the multiple seven figures a year just following our organic practices. But now, about a year into that process, he's realizing that he's tapping out and he needs to turn on ads. So the most important element in marketing, in my opinion, is knowing your key performance indicators or KPIs. These are numbers that allow you to make decisions based on clear data. And I showed you, showed you our KPIs, a key sort of $100,000 with KPIs here a second ago. Our KPIs in our marketing, extremely simple. What's our cost per sales call? ads or views, et cetera, and then what's our closing rate? And that's literally it. So we're taking sales calls. We even train our clients on how to sell on these calls. We give them a great script, all that. And then what's your closing rate? If you've got up like a 20% closing rate or more, you should be good to go. You can scale a million dollar business off of even like a 15% close rate, okay? That's it. And remember Bastion from the beginning? Well, he came to me when he was working in-house at an info product company, and he's focused solely on organic marketing, and it's gotten his business to $200,000 a month following my core ideas. And again, that's purely organic, leveraging himself on people's platforms, prospecting in groups, etc. And look, I also do want to say, Bastion has gotten help from a lot of people, but we were the first he came to, which I think is great. And this is the case with a lot of our clients. We help them get started and we send them down the rabbit trail. And there's tons of people that preach similar things to what we preach. But at the end of the day, if you're really to ask, we're the core of their success. And I think that's really, really cool. Okay. So I'm not going to spend too much time here because it's hard to dig into the true nitty gritty over a short training, but I can give you a template you can download of this exact funnel and show you the typical metrics of one like it for our clients. So this is the video sales letter funnel, so what you're watching right now, paid traffic, landing page, video, schedule, call, sale. You see the KPIs right beneath there. You can sort of start to project your marketing from that, and you can download this funnel at checkoutcom slash free dash funnel. Once you know these two numbers, you can start to predictably scale by solving top of funnel issues. Getting attention online is a science that can be hacked with the right understanding. So for organic content, moving on to the organic end of sort of, uh, you know, growing your business, there's two stages, nurturing and call to action. Nurturing content is simple. Be personable, add value, share ideas, and give practical steps to move forward that you'd otherwise share with clients. Share things you wish you'd known when getting started. Just be very organic, open. I love doing Q&As on Instagram or in our Facebook group or on YouTube, whatever, just opening up and really, you know, hiding nothing. People can kind of sense when you're not really being true to who you are. And the market, again, is very smart and they're looking for real people. I love the idea that there's no such thing as business to business or business to customer. There's only such thing as people to people. You know, you hear B to C or B to B marketing, but really P to P is, is the true marketing. It's people to people. So this is what nurturing content is for, is to introduce yourself as a person. And then call to action content is also pretty simple. Invite people to message you so you can speak with them if they like what they're learning. Ask them questions and offer a call if it feels like a good fit. And actually, one of our recent, like, it was like a $15,000 day for us. I literally just went on Instagram and said, hey, our program, our lower tier program, we've got it for sale. If you just want to come check it out, shoot me a DM. I'll shoot you the shoot you. And I was just prospecting on Instagram for two, three, four hours, just going back and forth over voice message with people, getting into our program. So when you've nurtured your audience, it's pretty easy to just, you know, kind of 
whip away a, a couple quick easy sales either get them to buy a program or hop on a call with you or whatever it is so legitimately i mean that's that's what most of our organic clients do they build their platform on facebook linkedin whatever it might be they use what we call a flywheel method where they're joining groups adding value adding friends etc and they start to just grow that platform and then they're just inviting people to message them and that is what gets a lot of our clients to like seven figures organically okay you can leverage case studies personal results and build authority in the nurturing stage for this to really click and I mix paid advertising with YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram organic content. And this way I stay engaged with my audience and build trust in a way that purely paid and and, uh, and I build my audience, that purely paid can't, and building my audience controllably in a way that purely organic just can't. So paid kind of controls the growth, and organic kind of controls the human element of my business. So remember, no good marketing will ever be replaced, no, will ever replace, sorry, a bad product, lack of conviction in your ability as a consultant, coach or service provider, or will solve all of your problems permanently. Reality is, word spreads. You'll eventually be seen for who you are, so be real. Now, for sales. Again, hopefully this training has been valuable for you so far. I'm just going to hit a couple core principles that have made sales work for us, because if I were to do a true through and through sales training, we'd be here for four hours. But I'm going to give you the top, the cream of the crop here, what really will get you know that 80% of results with 20% of the work, okay? Most people are concerned that they can't sell, or if they've sold before, they're not sure how to replicate the success. My first 50 calls were this way, and now I've taken over a thousand calls, okay? And when it comes to sales, we've noticed a few key tips that have helped our clients close consistently higher than they did before getting our help. Key idea one, lead and listen. Once the call starts, don't let the prospect take too much charge. Own the environment, ask questions, and really take that sort of, for lack of a better term, alpha role on the call. Own the meeting take charge. Reality is this is the most human and honest way to sell because if you're giving them control, they don't even really know what their problem is. They don't really know what they're here for. They're kind of they kind of want you to take control whether they'll admit it or not because they're looking for help. That's why they're on the call. Key 2. Quantity sometimes does be quality. And I'll just summarize this really quick. Don't get picky at the start of your business. Just get calls. People say, "Oh, they're not really a good fit. I don't really want to get it." No, dude. If you if you have any less than a call a day, you should be pushing, 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 pushing to get more calls. Five calls a day is a beautiful place to be. At least five calls a day is a beautiful place to be. So be pushing an hour and a half, two hours of prospecting to your audience, to people that follow you saying, hey, are you ready for a call? Do you have availability? Here's my Calendly link. Here's my schedule once or what time this week works for you. And then shooting them a Zoom link at that time. Go for quantity. Sometimes it does be quality and you're going to be able to learn how to sell better just by means of iteration and sort of adjusting along the way. Key idea three, and we've hit this, sell on outcomes. Don't sell by listing deliverables. Sell by telling the stories of clients you've worked with that are similar to them, asking questions and understanding the journey your prospect is currently on, and digging into their life slash business goals and supporting them. Remember, we don't sell our services, we sell outcomes. And key idea four, a script is only a guideline. Scripts don't make up for a real understanding of your industry and offer. And I've seen this with our clients time and time again. They're like, Trey, what's the script? What's the script? And we give them a script, and we have a really solid script, and it's what I started with, but you have to iterate. Yes, they help, but at the end of the day, your job is to ensure that the client feels heard and understood, and then to make an offer that aligns with what they've shared with you. Because, again, trust. Trust is huge. You know, back when I was first getting started, I plugged a sales rep into our company that really wasn't the best fit, and he hurt my reputation because he was making offers to people that weren't a good fit, and that was garbage. I mean, people would email me and say, hey, you know, I was literally ready to buy and then I talked to your sales rep and I just, I like, I don't know, I did, just didn't feel like a good fit. I felt a lot of pressure and it was just not good. So script is only a guideline. At the end of the day, being human is the most important thing and sales isn't complex. At the end of the day, the prospect will feel your conviction over the phone, Zoom, etc. So sell yourself first. The sales call itself isn't really the place where the sale is made, but in your content, your funnel, and in your marketing on the front end. We're not a fan of the used car salesman vibe. Just know that you can help people have conviction in that, and the prospect will feel this. Of course, there's more to it, but this is the majority of the battle, so sell yourself first. Make sure you love your offer, okay? So, that sums up marketing and sales. Quick, brief overview. Hopefully, I brought a lot of value to you today. At the end of the day, get that call to action in front of your audience. Ask them. Message us. Get our help. Book a call. Get them convicted about getting your help. And don't just ask it. Tell them why they should. Our client, this client over here, he booked a call with us eight months ago, just like you're thinking about doing. And here's what he's been able to do. And you notice us doing that in the training today, right? Or on our content. This is just how we operate and how you should operate as a business owner. You should own that call to action and give your clients every reason to book that meeting, okay? Now on to what I consider to be the most important element. 
and this is mindset slash environment, all right? So let me ask you again, has this been valuable so far? Have you gotten something good from your time with me today? Remember, if you can get these three keys in place, scaling your business becomes a clean science. Your mindset is literally everything moving into this. Most of our clients say that at the end of the day, it's the mindset upgrade they've received that has allowed them to arrive at their desired state. When we say mindset, most people think motivation, routines, energy, or reading good books. And these are all good things. Don't let me bash these things. These are all good things. But when we say mindset, what we mean is self-image. We mean what you think of yourself. Whether you realize it currently or not, you're hypnotized to think the way that you currently think. And this is more so thinking the way you currently think regarding your concept of yourself. Until you break free from unnecessary beliefs about yourself, about money, and about your business, you'll more than likely stay where you are. This is a hard thing for a lot of people to hear. They hear, oh, it's the next strategy, or oh, it's, you know, my ads aren't working, or oh, to be honest with you, dude, you know, the core of all of those things is who you believe you are and what you think you're supposed to be doing. Even if you don't like where you are, you're optimizing yourself to be there because you believe it's where you're supposed to be. It's just the truth. So your self-image is like a loop. How you act becomes your life or your state, which becomes who you think we are because more than often we kind of look at our surroundings for validation of who we are, which then goes back into how you act. And it's your life, who you think, how you act, your life, who you think. It's just like this loop. And if you're not aware of how your self-image is conducting you, you're not really in control of your growth. You might think you are, but you're really not. And I'm sure you've noticed people that seem to know all the strategies, have all the knowledge, but are completely broke. I, I, I know these people, and they will literally like come to me like, Trey, you should be doing it this way instead of this way. I'm like, okay, like what gives you the, the, the authority? They got like two grand in the bank account. They're, to, they're, they're barely getting started, and they're telling me how to behave as a business owner. It just, I don't know, man. It, it feels like they know what to do. Why don't they just go off and do it instead of talking to me about it, right? So this is why. This is the main gap. It's because they don't understand this. The best thing you can do for your business is to fix your mindset regarding yourself. And this is really the thing that took me to the place I am today in life and in my business. You know, I was broke, uncertain, unsure about my next steps as an entrepreneur. And now today I'm consistently growing my business, excited about life and growing consistently because I'm always succeeding in the small ways that, you know, are, are required in order for me to kind of build the proof that I am capable of what I believe. And, you know, I still slip and you always will slip kind of back into that old uh, identity. And Carl Jung talks about this. He says, you know, you have this concept of yourself and often you've got multiple concepts of yourself that are kind of battling for control. And your job is to make sure that the concept of yourself that is the most productive, healthy, happy, abundant version of you is taking charge by feeding that version of yourself with as much proof, with as much, um, you know, sort of conviction as possible so that they can take over and then you're free from now on from these old unnecessary concepts of yourself that might not be healthy to be okay almost all of our clients realize at some point that they've simply been in their own way the whole time and i can only dig so deep into these things in the short training i can tell you i've read hundreds of books on these topics invested over a hundred thousand dollars in my own education and programs coaches etc and these truly are the only three things that matter nailing these three things I can practically guarantee is the gap between being at the place you're at currently in your life or your business to scaling to higher levels. And I'll shoot straight until you get actual hands-on and individualized help, not just like some big mass program or something. Fixing and growing these things, you're not going to be able to see consistent growth like our clients have. This is just the truth. And this is why we do what we do. Why we're different. We offer individualized, personalized help from coaches that have actually done it themselves. We're extremely community focused. When you join, a requirement is that anyone who asks you for a one-to-one, -one, you have to take it. Connections are more valuable than anything else. What you put in, you're going to get out. Ask hard questions, get hard help. And the online training material we create is never finished. It's always updating and changing based on what we see as working for our top clients. So we don't even proclaim to be the self-proclaimed like strategy experts. At the end of the day, strategies always change. Like Facebook's API is going to change. LinkedIn's going to become better or Facebook or YouTube, they're going to start, you know, it's not about strategies. It's about core principles, know your numbers, sell better, have a good product, a good client experience. These things will work forever. So really, we're trying to build in things into your business that will support you even 30 years down the line when you're at a completely different like point in your entrepreneurial journey. So really, you kind of have two paths you can take at this point in the training. Path number one is to go it alone. 
And the unfortunate reality of path number one is you'll potentially spend years trying to figure it out yourself. You're going to waste tons of money on useless programs, advertising, or other wastes of cash. You'll have no sense of certainty and an underlying anxiety, and I'm sure you've experienced this, this underlying uncertainty, and you're not even sure if it's, you made a lot of money that week, but you're like, will I be able to do this again? And there's so much uncertainty and anxiety towards your growth, and you'll forever wonder, what if? And path number two is to get direct help. And this is to cut straight to the meat of what's working and what's not, to nail your offer, nail your shit, nail your sales and marketing out the gate and receive a rock solid game plan to start with this week, this week, join, get help this week. We'll tell you what to do. Surround yourself with people who are on the journey with you or ahead of you to sharpen your motivation and grow. And until you get the right help, you are effectively lost. Wisdom and growth always come from getting clarity from people that have done what you're wanting to do. If you've chosen path two, the link is below to book an assessment call directly with myself or the team. And here's what this call is. It's a conversation. We're not trying to hard sell you. We have plenty of incoming clients that want our help. Our goal is to ask questions and really get into the nitty gritty with you and see, you know, if you fit the bill for what we're looking for. Because I'll be honest, you know, we've got tons of people that ask, hey, do you have availability? Hey, are you guys still open for calls? Hey, do you? And we almost always are. But we do turn people away because the reality is, you know, we're not going to waste our time with tire kickers. So this is just a conversation. If you're serious about growing your business and you just want to just want to cut straight to the meat, you want to save time, save money, or even think you could probably even do all this yourself if you wanted to. But you just want to surround yourself with the right people. This is for you. So here's some details. You'll either be speaking with myself directly or a highly, a highly involved team member. And I'm not just pawning you off to some shady offshore sales rep. If you're going to be taking a call, it's either be with myself or somebody that is actively engaged in helping our clients to see if you're a good fit. These are a community of coaches or team members that are actually here with me underneath our company bubble. Okay. And the only people on the other end of the line will be people that care as much as I do about maintaining a high standard for the sorts of students and clients we work with. So do not book if you are a dud or a tire kicker. If you're not here to make a decision or you're not serious about getting help, just don't book. If you're not willing to make a decision quickly, I'll be honest, we're great at what we do, and we don't have time for incessant follow-up if you're not ready. We're not going to hound you. We're just not. If you think you're going to be one of these guys that gets right to the end and we're ready to get you in and you're like, ah, I don't know, it's just not for you. If you're not sold, still book a call. Let's see if we can get you to a point where we got you that certainty. But if you're the kind of guy that wants to sit for three, six months, it's just not going to work. You have to be a decision maker and ready to take action right now. If you feel like any of what I've told you today in this training is valuable. Imagine what it's going to be like to have a team of people helping you make these things happen at every junction in your entrepreneurial journey, okay? This is only for decision makers, action takers, people ready to take a quantum leap in their life and business. And due to the nature of getting coached, if you're not on fire for what we're doing, then our community, my team, and myself, well, we're powerless, okay? That's just the end of the day. We can't help you if you don't let us help you. If you don't tell us where you're at with total honesty and let us guide you through the process of getting you to where you want to get, we're not going to be able to help you. So if any of this sounds like you or you seem like you're a good fit, book your call using the link below. And I'm personally looking forward to speaking with you. I'll be taking a a good chunk of these calls. My uh, community success manager, Brendan, will be be taking some of these calls. Uh, Some of the calls will be taken from our coaches. And by the way, our coaches are actually people that succeeded with us. I just had another call with another one of our coaches, potential coaches today who scaled the seven figures and said, hey, I want to come back in and help make this happen because they believe in the vision. And that's that's beautiful to me. I don't ask anybody to be a coach. They come around and they they produce themselves. So I think that's really, really cool. So if that sounds like yourself, if you are ready to take that leap, you're ready to take action, I'm going to get a little salesy here with you. If you're ready for a huge life and business change, if you're tired of being where you're at, you're tired of settling for the place that you are currently. You know you're capable of more. You just feel like you're just a couple little tweaks away from getting there and you just wanna get straight to the meat, get those tweaks from people who have been there and done it. Book your call below and I'm looking forward to either speaking with you personally or having one of our team members help handle all of the questions, all of the things that you need answered. Be in a quiet place, a quiet environment, similar to my workspace here. Don't take this from your car. Don't take it from your phone. Don't take it at work. Be ready with a laptop on Zoom with a pen and a notepad and a credit card ready if you feel like it's a good fit. Be ready to make a decision with us. So without further ado, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed this training. 
Whether you are or not going to be working with us, I trust that this training has been valuable to you. You're welcome to follow us organically on socials, Instagram, YouTube, whatever, and I'll see you either over there or on our call. Thanks again.